The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing, first of all, making her way to the ring from the Bronx, Solo Dorling. There she is in one of the most interesting wrestling attires I've ever seen, looking much like a pair of my pajamas that I wear on a Saturday night. Solo Darling, Jeremy. <laughs> Too much information, Spot. Welcome to our next matchup here on the Knockouts Knockdown pay-per-view event. Solo Darling, I hope you have your health insurance paid because tonight you may need it in one of the most feared knockouts ever in knockout company history. We're about to see her take on Solo Darling. Here she comes. And now introducing her opponent, Tana Knockout, Pepper. Oh my God, she's scary. She scares the life out of me, Jeremy. Nightmares, huh, Spud? Nightmares, yes, but also my favorite wrestler on the Impact Wrestling roster, Havoc. She could be the queen of the knockouts division tonight. Well, certainly that crown, I'm not sure it would match the outfit. I mean, you got the spikes on the, on the guzzle there. But uh, what does that mean? I think she'd crush it with her bare hands if she wanted. And Solo Darling finally, I believe, has realized what she has agreed to do which is step into the ring against one of the most feared knockouts ever in Havoc. Oh, Solo Darling's a, a little, she's, she's a little timid soul. I mean, she tries to see the good in everything. I mean, even when the bromance were questioning her earlier, she's like, oh, you're a lovely couple. She, she didn't get it. She, she just did She's a little way with the fairies. Anyone that dresses like some kind of Felix the Cat might she wear I don't, I don't know. I mean, what she... the tail has got to be, uh... Where's the ears gone? <laughs> Hang on a second now. Tries to outquick Havoc, and now finding out what that's all about, the repercussions of said activity. Solo Darling trying to fight out of that, into the ropes now. Once Runs again, the, the six-sided ring confusing one of the, some of the new knockouts. It's such a diverse situation to be in when you step into those six sides. It really messes up your equilibrium. Of course, these aspiring knockouts trying to impress, earn a spot on the knockouts roster. And a victory certainly would do that for somebody like Solo Darling. But however, easier said than done. When you're in there with someone with the strength of havoc, case in point, just tell you what, she's gonna have to piece by piece tear down that brick wall. She's got, to knock, she's got to chop that tree down, and she's going to have a bigger axe than what she's actually using right now. Havoc's going nowhere. See? Too big, too strong, too powerful. She might as well have just ran face first into a brick wall. I agree. Hey, by the way, have I ever shown you the pajamas that look like that that I wear? No. What would you... What? Well, you, you've, you've come out of my house for a cup of tea occasionally. I mean, not in your pajamas. I like to get in my comfies, you know. Well, next time, warn me if you're going to wear your pajamas, I'll make sure and go to Josh Matthews. Listen, mate, you can't, you can't say that. You can't say that. That's, that's uncalled for. Uh, he's not wearing his pajamas around the house, so I'm telling you that much. I'm sure he's wearing his bathrobe and his uh, flip-flops. Smoking jacket. Smoking jacket. He's probably sp spoke about this on his Men's Lifestyle podcast as well. What do you wear when you have guests and you want to be in your comfy? Anyway, back to the match anyway. Let's stop putting him over. <laughs> yeah, yes. Oh, Earl okay. Hebner. Well, Earl Hebner. Wow, look at that. Just throws her around like a rag doll. Solo Darling feeling the brunt of the offense of the vicious knockout Havoc. Havoc is a beast. Nasty beast. Crazy beast. Maybe. <laughs> it's going to take a lot. I mean, poor little Solo. I do, I do feel oh, bad little Sorrel, she knew what she was getting into. You want to compete on the knockouts level, you're going to have to step your game up and tell you what, looking ahead, if Havoc is able to finish off Solo Darling, that will put the odds in the Gauntlet Battle Royal, I would have to say, in the favor of Havoc. Size advantage, certainly important when you're talking about a Gauntlet-style matchup. Paul Nelson. Oh my lord, that's just stretching the, the shoulders and the, the neck. And the fact that she's got those legs wrapped around her waist as well. She's got nowhere to go, nowhere to make base. I don't think Havoc's got those fingers locked though. She's gonna have to fight out of this somehow. Oh wow, right across the back. 
And knee. She's just ragdolling her all over the six-sided ring, Jeremy. She's happy about what she's doing. I mean, Earl, at some point, Earl Hefner may want to just call for the bell. I mean, Solo Darling, just giving it her all in there. But when you've got somebody with the viciousness. I mean, the people in the United Kingdom all know this, but she does look like a little bit of a raggy dog. Oh, old TV show. I was a kid. I was growing up. You had the raggy dolls over here? No, we didn't have it in the U.S., but, uh, you know, I'm... Some culture knowledge. I know what's going on. But you understand why Havoc's my favorite, though. I mean, look how dominant she's been in this match. Yes, but I see what you're saying now. I understand completely. You like basically any female that's on the knockouts division. Basically. Oh, wow. Right across the she, mug. She How about that? She may have broken jewel right there. Solo Darling may be uh, sipping her. No, oh, I can't. my God. Come on. Are you serious? Stop the macho. Even Earl's intimidated by Havoc. She might be drinking her meals and straws and goes for a third time and Solo Darling somehow able to find the fight inside. She's fighting back. These people are getting behind her. Doing what she can. Drop kick into the corner and this fight, where is she finding this? After taking just two vicious boots to the face. Solo Darling. Oh no, she's gonna. Havoc's gonna. Solo's still fighting. For a Karana, Jeremy. How did she do it? Solo Darling has Havoc right where she wants her, a fury of offense. She's got it down. Cover, and right onto Earl Hefner. Havoc far from over, making a statement. Uh-uh. Look at Solo's mouth and those kicks to the jaw. Just gushing blood. Into the corner now. Here comes Havoc, is met with the boots by Solo Darling, who now needs to capitalize, has the bit of momentum on her side. Oh, here it is. The beginning of the end, Jeremy. Stop what you're doing. Choke slam. Cover. Good night, and God bless. My favorite advances, Jeremy. What a dominant display from Havoc. Former Knockouts champion and potentially the next Knockout Queen of the Year. Can you imagine later on if that crown will be placed on top of the nug of Havoc? We're going to find out later on. She's going to have to compete against Madison Rain, Gail Kim, and Thea Trinidad, who qualified in our previous matchup. More knockouts so far, more to come, and up next, we are going to see TNA knockout in 